When we are going to multiply these numbers together, we are going to see that when we multiply the numbers which are in the units place, we will get two digit numbers. And like we carried in addition, we are going to carry the second number on the tens side. Look carefully. Here we have 5 and 2. We are going to multiply them. 5 twos are 10 or we can say 2 fives are 10. This number 0 is in the units place. So we write it down here in the units place. This one is a 10. So we have to move it to the next column here. Now we are going to multiply this 2 with this 2. 2 twos are 4. In the 4 we have, we have another one here, another 10 over here. So in the 4, we are going to add one more 10. It's going to be 5. The answer is going to be 50. What we did was, first of all, we multiplied the 2 with the 5. The answer was 10. The 0 goes down here in the units place. This 10 is carried on this side. Now we are going to multiply 2 with 2. 2 twos are 4. We see this 10 here. We are going to add that. So what we are doing here is we are going to first multiply and then add. The answer is 50. 65 multiplied by 4. 4 fives are 20. This 0 comes here. This 2 is carried next to the 6. Now we are going to multiply 4 and 6 together. 4, 6 are 24. In the 24, we are going to add 2 more. So we have 25, 26. The answer is 260. First, we multiply the 3 with the 6. 3, 6 are 18. The 8 in the units place comes down here in the units place. This one is carried to the tens. Now we are going to multiply the 3 with the 2 we see here. 3 twos are 6. We see another one here. So it's not 6 anymore. It's 7. The 7 is written like this. So the answer is 78. 26 multiplied by 3 equals 78. The last one here is 44 multiplied by 3. First of all, you are going to multiply 3 and 4 together. Answer is 20. The 2 is written here. The 1 is carried on the top. Now we are going to first multiply and then we are going to add. Multiply 3 and 4 together. 3 4s are 12. Add this one. Answer is 13. 120.